What is going on everybody, Hawk 13 here. Welcome to a movie pickup slash what I got for Christmas video. I'm going to be having this movie pickup to where I show off all these Blu-rays and then I'm going to do a video of all the Blu-rays that I ordered myself for Christmas uh, with my Christmas money. So, uh, and I'm just going to show you a couple other things that I bought myself that aren't really movie related, but I figured I'd show anyway and stuff I got for Christmas. So, the first one I got uh, for Christmas, one of these I got for Christmas and then the rest I bought myself. Uh, this is the only one I got for Christmas because I didn't really ask for many movies because I was just going to buy the movies myself anyway because I knew I was going to get Christmas money. But um, here's Hot Rod. Uh, this is a hilarious movie. This is honestly one of my favorite comedies. Andy Samberg um, and uh, Kiva Schaefer, you know, the guys from the Lonely Island, they made this movie. It's essentially about, you know... Um, uh, Rod Kimball, he's a stuntman, and, you know, he's trying to, you know, do a stunt to raise money for his dad who has uh, cancer, and um, uh, it's, it's, it's honestly hilarious. Uh, this is a hilarious movie. It says a funny and irrelevant movie. Yeah, it's true, but this movie's hilarious. You can put this movie in, have a good time, and laugh your ass off at it. Some people might not find Andy Samberg funny, but I think this and uh, Pop Star and Never Stop, Never Stopping, that's a hilarious movie, too, but I love Red Hot. I mean, <laughs> Red Hot. Sorry, I've been listening to a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers lately. But um, I love Hot, uh, Hot Rod, and um, I think it's a hilarious movie. It's one of my favorite comedies, like I said. And um, I can watch this movie over and over again. I've seen it like 30 times since I originally watched it uh, one day when I was like six. But um, yeah, hilarious movie. Highly recommend it. And uh, yeah. Okay. Next movie up is uh, a movie that I found that I didn't know was on Blu-ray, but it's a Dragon Dynasty movie, so I was just like, well, I mean, kind of figures. But um, get, get over here, dog. Get over here. I don't know what he's doing. But um, it's actually a Jackie Chan movie that you might not be familiar with unless you're a really huge Jackie Chan fan. It's Robin B. Hood. I haven't seen this movie in a very long time. I remember bits and pieces of it. But essentially, this movie is about, from what I remember, Jackie Chan and his friend kind of have this baby, and they don't really know where it's from. And they forgot where they had it because they're like robbers. You know, they're like, they do heists. And um, they got they got this baby, and uh, they have to take care of it because they, they don't know its owner, and they just decided to never take it back to its owner. And um, they just watch after the baby and then there's like people that try to come after the baby and they have to like defend themselves against them but it's a really good martial arts movie it's a really it's a very comedy comedic martial arts movie spin on a jackie chan film but it's actually really funny and i haven't seen it in a very long time so i'm actually really excited to rewatch it if you guys have seen this let me know what you guys think of it okay and the next one is um Robert Eggers' first film, The Witch. Um, now, when I first saw The Witch, back when it first came out in theaters, I thought it was a miserable waste of my time. But I wasn't really into film since then. Uh, you know, I've been I've gotten into film now. So, like, um, you know, I have a Lighthouse poster that's directed by Robert Eggers. And, you know, this is an A24 movie, and I feel like if I rewatch this movie, since I love The Lighthouse, I realized that, you know, when I first saw this movie, I was like, didn't make any sense, didn't understand it, but I realized that with Robert Eggers, his movies are kind of made so you don't understand them, because if you've seen The Lighthouse, you know what I'm talking about, because the movie makes no sense. The ending makes no sense. The whole movie as a whole makes no sense. So I want to rewatch this uh, and get, see, really see if I enjoy it, and if I don't enjoy it, then I just don't like the movie. But um, I think that if I rewatch it, I will like it. So um, yeah, The Witch. Next one up is a Paul Thomas Anderson flick. Uh, has Joaquin Phoenix, Josh Brolin, Owen Wilson, Reese Witherspoon, Benicio del Toro, and uh, it's called Inherit Vice. I have no idea what this movie's about. It just got recommended to me by a friend, and I was like, all right, I'll check it out. And it was like six dollars, so I picked it up. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have no idea what the movie's about. I haven't seen one trailer. I haven't seen one bits and piece from what this movie's about. Apparently, I've only heard one thing that's about uh, a detective who does a lot of drugs, I guess. I, I don't know. I, like I said, I've never seen it. If you guys have seen it, let me know what you guys think of it. <clears throat> Next one up is actually a movie that I was after because I was in the mood to watch it, and then I eventually found it in the store, and I was like, oh, that's cool for $6. It's Jersey Boys, directed by Clint Eastwood. This movie is about um, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons and kind of their involvement with the mob, but it essentially chronicles over their time as a group. And um, it's actually a really good movie, and it really chronicles their story very well. And especially with their involvement with the mob, you have Christopher Walken as a mobster, which is really cool to see. And it's directed by Clint Eastwood, like I said. So um, it's a really good time, uh, fun movie. 
movie. It gets deep. It gets depressing. It gets it's fun. It's almost like a musical. And um, yeah, it's definitely one of the greatest biopics ever made. At least in my opinion, one of my favorite biopics. I've seen it at least five times. So really excited to rewatch it again. Like I said, I was in the mood for it, and then I went to the store and I found it. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. Next one up is uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. I I had First Avenger and Civil War, believe it or not, but. I didn't have Winter Soldier, so now I got it. I picked it up for 10 bucks, and the Winter Soldier, oh, it's amazing. We all know this. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, it's phenomenal. It's one of the greatest Marvel movies ever made, and, um, yeah, there's Captain America. And then the uh, last one is uh, Misery with uh, Kathy Bates and James Cannon, in it. and um, this is definitely one of the best um, Stephen King adaptations. This is almost like a perfect Stephen King adaptation. Out of all of them, my favorite's probably The Mist because I just I, The Mist is like one of my favorite horror movies of all time, if not my favorite, because that's just the one horror movie that I've seen more times than I think I've seen any other horror movie. So um, Misery is definitely up there because this is almost a perfect movie in terms of Stephen King adaptations because you have Kathy Bates who plays a girl who just is Paul Sheldon's biggest fan and she just wants an autograph and. Um, <laughs> it's just it's it's a it's a great movie it's a psychotic movie it's a fun movie it's a scary movie this movie come, almost has like every genre of film in in it like it has drama <clears throat> it has comedy it has horror and um yeah it's definitely a, a must watch if you guys haven't seen it and definitely if you're a stephen king fan so let me know what you guys think of misery if you guys saw it Okay, now we're going to get to the unrelated movie part of the video, so if any of you were here just for the movies, you can click off now, because right now I'm going to show you some stuff that isn't movie related at all. So, um, I got these, um, I got some vinyl, because if you guys don't know, I'm a big huge, uh, I'm a big huge fan of music. Um, I don't really love all kinds of music, I'm mainly into metal, rock, um, some hip-hop, and, uh, yeah, so the first one I got is Ginger Marco, um, this is like a progressive metal band from Ukraine that are starting to get recognized and they're actually really good the lead singer is a girl and her name is Tatiana and um she is very good like this band they're very talented one of the best bands I've heard in a very long time and uh yeah so there's that and the next one up is one of my favorite metal albums of all time I've listened to this album a million times it's Bullet from Valentine's Scream Aim Fire and I'm really glad that I got it on vinyl because it's a, it's a, it's almost a perfect album if not a perfect album and this is the bonus track version, which I'm actually really excited about, and um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a phenomenal album. Uh, I, if you guys like metal music, or if any of you are into my Bullet from My Valentine's Scream of Fire, this is when Bullet was in their prime. Nowadays, they're like, nah, 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 but this album, like their first like four or five albums were great. And then the last one I got was uh, their Viking metal band slash death metal, a Monarch Marth Berserker. They're basically a death metal band, but other themes are Viking, so that kind of makes them Viking metal because all they sing about is like Viking, and but it's like really heavy. It's actually a colored vinyl, which I'll show you right now. And it looks like that. So that's, that's pretty dope. And um, yeah, so let me put this back in here. It's going to take me a second because sometimes vinyls don't go on their sleeves when they should. And okay, that went in pretty smoothly. I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Okay, and then um, I got this book for Christmas, which is Flea, Acid for the Children. This is the bass player of Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like I said, I'm a huge Red Hot fan, so um, I got this. And uh, yeah, really excited to dive into this. I'm actually reading another book, so I have yet to get into this, but I'm very excited. And then uh, I bought this for myself. For with my Christmas money, which is Anthony Kiedis' book, Scar Tissue, and um, I, this is actually way bigger than I thought it would be. It's like, I didn't think that was going to be this long of a book. I don't know what he is doing, but um, it's actually way longer of a book than I thought it would be, and like I said, I'm, you know, very, you know, booked. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I'm booked. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm reading another book right now, so, and especially I'm booked because I also bought this for myself, which is the, um, this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom Blood Part 1, the manga of the anime of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm a huge JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fan, and I, I'm a, actually a fan of anime, believe it or not. I just don't talk about it um, a lot, but um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the manga, and I think there's like three parts to Phantom Blood, but this is the first part, and I love how, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be easier, because usually you would read it left to right, but this one you read it light, right to left, and it's all upside down and different, so um, that's pretty cool, and uh 
yeah, really excited to dive into this after I finish, you know, all these other books. I think I'm definitely probably going to, I want to finish the anime because right now I'm on Stardust Crusaders Battle in Egypt. I want to finish, you know, Diamond is a Breakable and Golden Wind before I dive into the manga and then wait until they make a, 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 a um, Stone Ocean, which is the next after Golden Wind. So um, I'll probably wa finish the book I'm reading right now, then probably dive into whichever one's, I don't know which one's longer, Epictetus or Fleas, but I'm pretty sure... I think this is like some of his childhood and like when he got into Red Hot, but I've heard this is just mainly about Flea's childhood, nothing Red Hot related. So I'm um, really excited to dive into these two. But um, yeah, that was everything I got for myself and some of the things I got for Christmas. I figured you guys would like to hear about it because why not? Why not? Why not? So yeah, guys, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. If you guys have a, had a good Christmas, let me know. You, let me know. Just, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And, um, yeah, I also have another movie pickup because I bought all these movies myself. Um, I'm going to pull them out right here. Well, they're not all movies. Two of them are TV shows, but I bought all these movies. I bought all this stuff for myself. And, um, yeah, we're going to have a definitely a Criterion episode because I have, like, three Criterions right here and then two regular Blu-rays and then two Blu-rays of a TV show. And, um... Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Be look on, be on the lookout for that video, and be on the lookout for some more movie reviews. Um, when 1917 comes out, I will be reviewing that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 movies of the year video. And um, yeah, like I said, see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, my dog doesn't want to say bye this time. He's so selfish.